Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Younger. Jeff has the night off. Easier to receive help. And that's the goal behind the three digit suicide prevention hotline. As KSN's Alexis Padilla explains, the new line is working. She joins us now with a look and what's next. It's new at 10. Alexis. Emily 988 launched in July of 2022. According to Governor Kelly, in the first six months, the crisis lifeline has seen nearly a 27% increase in calls compared to before the launch. Local advocate groups say this is exactly what they expected. 988. That rolls off the tongue. It's similar to 911, and that's exactly the design we wanted. Easy to remember, easy to get help. That 27% increase, those folks were always calling for help or at least always needing it. So those calls either went unanswered or went to 911, which tied up resources that weren't necessarily designed for mental health crises. According to national projections, the hotline is expected to reach 120,000 Kansans within its first year. We are adding more positions. So we have eight full-time positions and five part-time positions so that we can hopefully increase the number of calls that are answered here locally. Sedgwick County Calm Care says it's on target to answer 90% of those calls coming in. They are expanding their team for outside help. Adding additional positions for our mobile crisis response. So providing crisis interventions in someone's home so they can reach out to 988 and we can dispatch a clinician or integrated care specialist. Advocates are pleased with the progress, but say it is not the end. We do anticipate this to keep growing, and we have to meet that need with trained professionals who are prepared to receive that information and act accordingly. Blair Hope says 988 continues to evolve. Leaders will get feedback from people who have used that line on what went well and what can be improved. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.